Chaperone might be my favorite gun in Destiny 2. It's stylish, fun to use, and possesses some insane multi-kill potential in the right hands. Just listen to this amazing reload sound. For those of you who are new or returning to Destiny 2 after a little bit of a break, the Chaperone is an exotic slug shotgun that sits in the kinetic slot. Its flagship perk, the Roadborne, grants bonus handling, range, and precision damage for 10 seconds after landing a precision kill with the weapon. You also get a hidden rate of fire and reload speed increase that's not shown on the tooltip. This means you can snipe opponents from incredible range after procking the perk, and each headshot kill will refresh your buff so you can go on some really lengthy killing sprees. In my testing, we were able to land a one-hit kill at 13 meters normally and 15 meters with the Roadborne perk active. You can extend this one-hit kill range even further to 25 meters with Luna Faction Boots on a Warlock while you're sitting in an Empowering Rift. Here's a quick summary of the results from testing various range buffs. It seems there's a hard cutoff at about 25 meters where the bolt just disappears at any further distance. Watch this clip where I'm standing in a Luna Faction empowered Well of Radiance and I don't get any hits on the target and then step about one foot further and get an easy one shot kill. As a side note, while testing this weapon I was using the exotic ornament, the Panama Ravine. This slightly increases the barrel length and actually gives you a little bit further range, presumably because the bolt leaves the barrel just slightly closer to the target. Fallout Plays actually made a really great video explaining this discovery, there's a link to check it out in the description. Since the chaperone is in the kinetic slot, you'll need to find a solid energy slot weapon to pair with it. My go-to has been the Not Forgotten Hand Cannon, which has been feeling really great in Shadowkeep so far, partially because there's a bug that sometimes allows the Magnificent Hull perk to grant a little bit of bonus damage. But even with a normal damage profile, it's a consistent two-head, one-body kill as long as you land bullets in that order so that it takes advantage of the Magnificent Hull perk. If you don't have Not Forgotten yet, Luna's Hull is also a good alternative with just a little bit less range, as well as the Hand Cannon Waking Vigil that comes from the Dreaming City. Alternatively, you can also pair this with an energy pulse rifle like Claws of the Wolf to cover a little bit wider overall range in a loadout, or if you want to go the other direction, it also works pretty well with an SMG for a hyper-aggressive build. As far as subclass choice goes, the gun works pretty well with any class, but I'll give you my top picks for Hunter since that's the class that I spend the most time with. I found a lot of success pairing the Chaperone with my Assassin's Kyle Blade Dancer build from my most recent video. There's a link here and also in the description to check it out in case you didn't see that one yet. The reason this pairing works so well is that if you're around 10 meters away, you can go for the Chaperone headshot to start stringing together a spree with Roadborn perk. But if you're a little bit closer range, all you need is a body shot plus melee combo to get a kill and then trigger the healing and invisibility perk from the Assassin's Cowl. Using Arc Battery and Bottom Tree Arc Strider also gives you the ability to do a dodge to mitigate some damage while you're getting into the perfect Chaperone headshot range. The other subclass I found to work very well with the Chaperone is the Middle Tree Void Hunter, Way of the Wraith. This is because you can proc the Flawless Execution perk by either crouching or sliding as you get your Chaperone headshot, which gives you temporary wall hacks. Pair this with your increased Chaperone range from the Roadborne perk, and you're going to have some very easy killing sprees. One tip I found to help land consistent headshots with the Chaperone is to aim just a little bit higher than you normally would aim. It seems that if you aim just above the head, the Bullet Magnetism will pull the bullet down to hit the head for a consistent kill. This gun is all about precision kills, so it's very important to land your headshots and get that Roadborne perk activated. So I hope this video inspired you to give Chaperone a try if you haven't used it much. There's a bit of a learning curve, but once you start to master the weapon, I truly think it's one of the most fun loadouts to use in the game. If you like this video, a thumbs up rating really helps me out so I know it's worth my time to create more videos just like this one. Also be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss my next video. If you like to chat about PvP builds, I'd love for you to come discuss it with me while I stream on Twitch. You can catch me over at twitch.tv slash pattycakespc. I tend to stream most nights of the week, and I also do a lot of PvP competitive help on PC. So if you need some help getting to 2100 and beyond, just please stop by and let me know. Finally, if you're looking for a great Destiny community to play Shadowkeep with, my community Discord is growing really fast and very welcoming for new members. You can find a link to join in the description. I'll let the rest of the clips play out for you to enjoy. Catch you next time.